Hey, good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. Wednesday, July 24th. I'm Anne Marie Green, and here's a look at some of the stories grabbing our attention right now. President Biden preparing to address the nation tonight in an Oval Office speech. Vice President Harris rallying supporters, raking in cash, and looking to carve a path to victory in November as Donald Trump ramps up attacks. A high profile speech to Congress, major protests, intense security. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu gears up for a big day in D.C. Running for cover. Dramatic video shows a geyser exploding, terrifying tourists at a popular national park. We're going to tell you what happened. That's coming up. This is the CBS Morning News. We are going to begin with the race for the White House, though. President Biden will deliver his first speech since ending his reelection campaign. He will speak from the Oval Office in a primetime address tonight and lay out his plans for the rest of his term. Biden is also expected to talk about his endorsement of Vice President Harris, who has hit the ground running as a Democratic presidential candidate. Harris held the first rally of her campaign yesterday in front of a roaring room of supporters in the battleground state of Wisconsin. What kind of country do we want to live in? A country... <laughs> and to your point, do we want to live in a country of freedom? compassion and rule of law or a country of chaos, fear and hate. And here's the beauty of this moment. We each have the power to answer that question. Former President Donald Trump will hold his first rally since the candidate shakeup. Yesterday, his campaign filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission over the transfer of funding from the Biden campaign to the Harris campaign. Trump also slammed his now likely opponent during a phone call with reporters. She's the same as Biden, but much more radical. She's a radical left person, and this country doesn't want a radical left person to destroy it. She's far more radical than he is. She wants open borders. Uh, she wants things that nobody wants. So joining me now for more analysis is CBS News political director Finn Gomez. So, Finn, you know, since President Biden uh, stepped away from his reelection campaign, uh, the Republicans have been critical of this move in all sort of different ways and threatening different types of legal actions. But now we're actually seeing something that they're doing. What more do we know about this FEC complaint uh, filed by Trump's campaign? And could this really impact Harris's uh, ability to access the funds raised? No, that's a great question, Anne-Marie. 